This ain't a bad fish. Oh, God. Maddie got a nice one. Oh, a big fish. Let's see if we can land it. All right, guys. So we're here doing a backwards intro today. We're about to leave since the sun is setting. There's a rude bird up above me. We're about to leave because the sun is setting. We just came out for fun and ended up having a great time. So I cannot wait for you guys to see this video. I hope you enjoy it as much as we enjoyed making it. But without further ado, let's roll the video. I'm using a Senko. It's because I don't care if I lose it. Got him. This ain't a bad fish. It feels like a good fish. Nah, he ain't, he ain't good. He's just fighting really hard. Come on, buddy. Nice. Not That's that big, not but, nice. but, um, definitely a fish. He fought really, really hard for his little size. All right, buddy, hold up. Little guys are so mean. Pound for pound, these little smallmouth fight way harder than a largemouth bass, especially these river smallmouth. Thanks for the fight. Now, go grow and become a big old fish so I can catch you next spring. There she goes. Let's see if we can get on one a little bit bigger. Just got another bite, guys. See if he'll take it. Just pulled it right out of its mouth by accident. Haven't had this rod out in a long time. Nice to see she still got it. Where am I hung up? Yeah, I've only got six pound test on, so it's gonna be really hard to pull anything up out of here. Maddie's got one now. You guys gotta see this, it's so cute. Pocket size fish. There he goes. He was cute. We're on micro fish today, right? Yeah. Yeah, a little red eye. Yeah, they're so pretty. I'm coming. Maddie got a nice one. Oh, she got snagged. These river smallmouth are famous for that. If you don't keep just the right amount of pressure on them, they'll go right up under a rock or around structure and snag you up. Oh, uh, there's some activity over here. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. We're gonna step over there and try to be very quiet and strategic so we don't scare it. Now stand back and try right here. Right in this area. Oh, I got bit. Ah, oh, now I'm getting snagged. Hopefully Maddie gets on another. She had a really nice one. I could see it jerking a pole around. So maybe there's gotta be some back here in this little, in this bank. Oh, I just saw a fish jump right there. I don't know if the camera picked that up. Uh-oh. Missed it. Had a good bite though. I knew they'd be over there. Oh yeah, he's bite again. That spot's just too good for a fish to not be back there. Might have to reel in before I get snagged. We're gonna get him on it moving. We'll get it back out there. Oh, he got it What was moving. Oh, I wasn't expecting it. I knew it. They're so active right now. I see them jumping up for bait. So I knew while I was reeling that in. All right, let's see if we can get him again. All right, I'm reeling it in. Pops. Ah, oh, got him. Got him while it was moving. A little squeaker. So you do not have to use a Cinco as a slow bait. And you do not have to always finesse fish them. You can use them as a swim bait too. Cute little squeaker. Ooh, took off. Bad as hell. Thank you, buddy. We only have like less than 30 minutes. The sun sets at 7.30ish give or take so yeah just getting on what we can I knew they'd be pushed back in there though see how this current is all pushing against that corner right there it's a perfect place for a fish to come wait for some food to wash past it 
Let's fill it in again and see if you want to come up and get it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> they want movement today. You guys see, this is the tiniest fish ever. If I was in a micro fishing competition right now, I'd be slaying, but that's about it. He is so cute. Thank you for the catch. Go grow up and get real big. We'll catch you next spring. Let's fix our worm and get back in there. This is fun. I mean, they're not big, but this is just fun to come out here and catch them back to back like that. All right, let's see. I've seen some wakes. Grand! Oh, no, nah, he got off. Let's see if again. I'm sure big ones around here somewhere. They're just giving us plenty of movement because that seems to be what they're after. Oh, had another. Give it like a more. I'm gonna cast right here real quick. Then we're gonna head up there. Anytime you can get fish on a moving bait, whether it's a Cinco or a bait that's actually designed to be a moving bait, it's a fun time. Right, we're gonna work this really slow. You okay? Uh, we're getting set up. Okay, train. I'm gonna guess over here if there's a fish hanging out. He's near the rocks, he's looking for crawdads. Something a little bit slower. Oh, that was a bite. Oh, that was a good bite. Water's a little darker over here. And the sun is setting, so we probably only got like five, ten minutes left. Getting bit right now, but it doesn't feel like a bass. It feels more like that's how catfish bite. Oh, maybe not. It might be a bass. Ah, missed it. All right, we're gonna get it right back out there. It was a ton of fun catching those little fish back to back. There's a bite. Got it. Feels like a better fish. A much better fish. Oh, big fish. Big fish. Yeah, guys, this is a better fish right here. Let's see if we can land it. She's fighting. I might have to walk her over here. I want to tighten my drag, guys, but not until I can get over here a better place to land this fish. This might be a catfish. Don't really feel like a bass, and I only have six pound tests on. Yeah, it's a catfish. I think. No, it's a bass. Holy sh A big old bass. We're gonna have to land her like this. Big one. Big fish. Look at this. Look at this monster. That's a big fish. Yeah, she didn't come up like a bass, so, so, so. it's a catfish. We're gonna get some pictures of this girl and then we'll let her go. Right where she came. This is just a monster fish. I mean, for around here, this is kind of a unicorn. They don't usually get this big around here. I mean, they do, but they're few and far between. So we got to let this beautiful baby go so she can go back to doing exactly what she was before. Thank you so much for the catch, pretty girl. Take off and uh, I hope to see you again one day. There she goes. She was heavy. Maddie got a fish. What a nice way to end the night. <laughs> beautiful markings on that fish. Thanks for the catch, buddy. I got this black and blue speed crawl on. I'm just gonna work him really slow over here. 
and see if I can't pluck off anything else before the trip ends. We should technically already be on the road, <laughs> but when the bite is as good as it has been, it's so hard to walk away. Uh-oh. Oh, I had one. Uh-oh, he's biting again. He wants that black and blue crawl. That didn't feel like a bad fish either. Got him. No, I got him. I got him. Look at this tiny little guy taking this crawl, Dad. Oh, he is, he is as little as I thought. Compared to the last fish I got, everything is a little guy. That is a beautiful <laughs> fish, though. Beautiful fish. And we're going to let this beautiful baby go. Thank you for the catch, little one. Oh, he didn't really need a revive. I, I don't do bugs. <laughs> I'm just gonna let y'all know that right now. No, I will not even put a worm on a hook. I do not touch any type of insect. They freak me out. All right, guys, that wraps it up for tonight. It is officially past time that we get out of here. And the bats are crazy, the bugs are crazy. Anyways, we're out. Thanks for watching.